Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am working on some borders um, of a quilt that I had already started on. It was the, um, had started as the, um, the quilt along with dandelion stitches. And I can't remember the name of the quilt pattern. Barn stars, shooting stars, something stars. <laughs> but it had log cabin squares from a jelly roll. And I had started on it and I had quite a few my log cabin squares done and then just work and life got in the way but i still had those squares and i still wanted to do something with it um and i had a layer cake so what i did is i just took the squares that i already had made and the layer cake i cut my layer cake down to fit the size of log cabins and i just alternated and i put piano keys of what i had left over on the ends and today i am putting a two and a half inch so it'll come out to be a two inch border i got lint in my eyes um and then we're going to do a navy border which i've cut some of that out already after that so that's all we're doing today i just wanted to jump on and say hey to everybody and thanks to everyone that has subscribed that one little two charm pack video just kind of went not viral viral but for me that was viral it is over i believe fifty thousand views at this point oh my god i never never would have thought um so i just wanted to jump on here and say thank you and hello to everybody my name is shannon um i am i should change the name of my channel to the clumsy quilter <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, we're learning to quilt together. And um, I had a lady say, oh, you know, you, I saw you get ready to make a mistake and um, and you turned right around and fixed it. Yes, I don't edit out my goof ups. Um, we're learning together. Every quilt is a learning experience. Um, I try to do something a little different on every quilt, but I also like those really quick, easy quilts. Um, but I do like learning new techniques and, um, but today we're just putting on borders. So I just thought I would chit chat with you guys for a little while. I have been in here trying to, um, like clean up, throw stuff away. Um, I've gone through some of my mom's stuff, which was packed up back here in the corner. My mom has been gone six years, I think is right. Six years. Is that right? It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like six years seven years I, I can't even can't even think how long she's been gone six or seven years i want to say it's 2016 or 17 see i i can't even remember now at this point um and my best best friend passed away just um end of september so her anniversary just popped up in my facebook memories um she passed away end of september in the i lost my mother in december so that little span of just a couple months was terrible for me and um i've lost my my 16 year old kitty i think the year before that 2009 or like it, that was 2000 no it's been after 2019 um we lost our 16 year old kitty tiger boy and you've probably seen him in some of my videos if you watch my other channel like way back my other channel he was in a lot of those videos you would see him on the bed um or i'd pick him up and show him in videos but yeah we lost him so like the end of the year has always now been rough for me my father passed away end of October 2007 so mama would have been 2017 because they were 10 years 10 years apart but we're just um putting borders on I just thought I would chit chat with you guys for a little bit but autumn has always been my favorite time of year it was also my mom's favorite time of year autumn and Christmas just autumn and winter time our favorite times of year we would always go shopping we'd just even if it's just window shopping to look at all of the pretty new stuff um seasonal things they were putting out and 
I'm gonna have to move that over, I think. I did it on the first border I put on. Because I'm not paying attention and I'm chit-chatting. But like I said, I show my goofs. I got off just a little bit right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix it while I'm chatting with you. <laughs> so, but yeah, it kind of ruined the holidays for me for a while. Um, when my mom passed away, she had just put up her Christmas tree. And guys, it took me a long time to not even cry thinking about it. So... That's, that's a milestone for me to just sit here and think about it and not be in absolute tears. But she had just put up her little Christmas tree and she had called me and said, I put up my Christmas tree. It is so cute. And she sent me a picture of it and it was like a little, I think a five foot tree. And I had to take that tree down. And I brought it home with me. And for several years, I did not put up a Christmas tree. I just did not want to celebrate Christmas. I just wanted to get through those months and not even think about, you know, the holidays. Which, you know, that's what happens when you lose somebody. So finally, like I think it was three years later, because I think the first two years I didn't put up a tree. Um... I told my hubby, I said, I'm going to put up a tree this year and I'm going to put up mom's little tree because we'd brought it home with us. I brought home all of her ornaments. I brought home the whole shebang. Um, and I put up her little tree. I did use some of her ornaments, but not all. I used some of most of mine. But if you've lost someone at the holidays, you, I mean, at any time of year, it's that time of year is just hard. It is hard. <laughs> I mean, I can laugh about it now, but then it was, it was excruciating, um, just to get through that time of year. Let's put it back on here and I'm going to back tack it a little bit and then I'm going to hold it with my fingers here and just make sure she's lined back up. Yep. And I'm just going to sew over that teeny little bit that I had before I broke it loose. <laughs> and just keep making sure I am where I need to be. I've got it pinned. But I've pinned about every, I don't know, six-ish inches. And my quilter, I think, is my long arm quilter lady, is retiring. Oh, my gosh, guys. That just. I am so upset that um, she is retiring. And I bet I'm sewing these, like, the wrong direction. No, that's good so far. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because I try to pay attention to the bottom. So, I'm not sewing my. My. Um ends the wrong way because I have been known to do that like be in a hurry and I just sew and I don't pay attention to the back but yeah we're just throwing some borders on because I want to get this one to the quilter before um I think I she said I had to get it to her before the end of October So if I can get this done today, which I have a, what time is it? It's after 12. I don't know if I'll get it today. I have a conference call. I'm off today, but I still have to go to the Lenore store because I'm not at Lenore anymore. But um, my store is 30 minutes away and Lenore store is five minutes away. So I am going to go to this store and get online to do the conference call. Just so I don't have to drive 30 minutes. Let's see. Which way is that one going? Okay. And to get around this, you could sew the back on the top and put the solid strip on the bottom so you can see which way you're sewing on. Uh, 
your ends are going, which is what I should have done, but it's okay. I just try to pick it up and let it go where it's going to go. And these are just the two inch jelly roll strips I used on the um, back quarter shop quilt that we did just back there somewhere. Okay, that one is sewed on and now I'm just going to trim these edges off. Um, because I will want to get that quilt to her too. But Lord, that's going to be two quilts getting quilted. That's going to be over her probably $100. I know it'll be over $100 um, to do the long arm. So I hate that she's retiring, but I know her husband's been having some health issues. I just lay this down. You guys want to even see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm doing. I just um, fold this open, lay this tail out to the side, and then I finger press it. I take my little bitty ruler here, and I line up a line here. I line up the edge here. And then I just trim the tails. And I can tell my cutter's coming loose. I need a new cutter. This one I know is like years and years and years old. So old. It is ridiculous. And then we'll do the other tail. I just finger press it open. There's the strings where I broke it loose. But I do go back at the end and like any little string sticking up or whatever, I trim those off. Pull them out, trim them off. Same thing. I'm going to line up a line. I'm going to line up the edge. And I just trimmed the. And I saved these guys. Save these. That's a lot of two inch. I mean, two and a half inch squares you can get out of that. So now I do the other side. I've got two sides. So I'm going to find the middle, which I know is three squares. One, two. This is my middle. My piano key is off a little bit, but I'm still going to keep keep the middle right in there somewhere and here are my strips that i have sewed together and i just find the middle of that strip where i sewed it together and it's going to go right in here somewhere i mean it does not have to be perfect this it's scrappy um but right in here is the middle so right there is where i'm going to start pinning is kind of in the middle And it's my quilt, so I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a quilt. Mistakes will be made. If you are a perfect quilter, Lord, let me know how you do it. I know it takes um, time and practice and just doing and doing. I do it for fun, so mistakes will be made. When I made that, co I call it my COVID quilt because I made it while I was sick with COVID. I did cut a couple pieces wrong and they're in the quilt they um i needed a couple more pieces of a different color because it's like i had not enough teal green in there or something so i cut up a couple pieces of teal and put in and of course i cut those wrong um but they're in there <laughs> they're in there i'm not breaking it loose i'm not breaking it loose and redoing it this is my quilt See, I, about every six-ish inches or so, that's just to hold it together. One up here on the end. Then I'll go down here to the other half. But how is your week going? It's Friday today. This will probably go up Saturday. I have to work it open to close Saturday to make up for some time because I had a girl out sick and I had to go into the store and work for a bit. So that was only like a partial day. So I have to make up for that partial day somewhere else. 
I have to make up the, because I think I worked like six hours. So I'm going to get 30-ish minutes of that back today for that conference call. But yeah, I have to make up for the hours because I have to be at 40. And it was not a full eight-hour day, guys. <laughs> I put on my community tab, if you've not seen it, um, like the next two quilts, and I have already talked about these quilts a couple times. Um, one is going to be the Fat Eighth quilt. From, they're both from Fat Quarter Shop. They're both free patterns. I already have my fabrics pulled. Um, I may try to get those ironed and ready today. Ironed and cut when I get back this evening. But they are sitting right here in a basket. So uh, I do have some yardage. I have some quarter yards. I have some a half yards. But most of them are quarter yards. And we're going to do that one. And I ordered this guy it's a layer cake but it's not a it's like a junior layer cake i got it on ebay for like 12 dollars. it is from riley blake and it is does it say primrose garden and it's really pretty but it's really summery but i thought um i might have enough scrap kind of scrap fabric to make up for not having a full layer cake to do the layer cake loop i will have to double check to see if i have enough fabric for that guys and because you know, i don't know i had already like bit on that i think and then i was like oh crap it's not even a full layer cake but it was only 12 dollars. i thought that was awful cheap for a um layer cake i start back here when i'm doing these i'm gonna get to that edge i'm gonna back tight just a hair just to reinforce that thread and go ahead and take that first pin out and she is starting to get a little heavy so I don't know what this quilt's going to finish at. I'll have to measure it with a measuring tape. But what I was saying about the community tab. There's another quilt pattern Fat Quarter Shop just came out with. And it's, it's a really easy one. It is just basically um, like very similar to this. Actually, you've got a full square and then this is a four patch. Actually, it's yeah, just like this. But now that I think about it, it's a four patch in a square. And it takes fat quarters. And I have all of that Lori Holt. Um quarter bundle and a lot of other fat quarters I have been buying over time I thought we could do that with the fat uh, the Lori Holt fabric so just let me know down below um, if you guys want to sew along with me both of those patterns are free patterns or actually all three of those patterns are free patterns What y'all doing in there? I hear my cat's missing. But, yep, that's what you want now, Pedro. Is that what you want? How Kimberly goes so fast and takes those pins out lord have mercy i don't see how she's so so fast
What do you want now, Mr. Pedro? Oh, he's done found a bag now. Come here, Pen. I didn't drop you in the floor one time. I didn't take that last pin out. My finger can hold it. That's what we're doing today, guys. We're putting on borders. Um, the same that I might try to get the um, the fat quarters ironed out and get some of the cutting started on it. So that way it's kind of started. But see, I just finger press this one open. I line up my line. And just gonna trim it off and keep it because that is pieces you can use for something else. That's it, guys. That's all I'm working on today. Just wanted to pop on and say hey. Um, the next quilts are coming. I'm just working on this one. I usually only work on my quilts on my days off. Yesterday, like I said, I started going through the boxes that were here in the house or in this room because this room is just cluttered and it's um, not even my stuff, most of it. It's my mom's and she's been gone so long that I can't even like remember the date now. I mean, you know, you kind of block it out. And I just finger pressing these open a little bit. I have one more side of white to do and then we're going to put on the blue and I already have a couple of those cut not all of them so here is the blue it's gonna do go blue and look she's already getting cat hair on her it's gonna go blue shoot back a little bit more and then the backing ugh, is a red gingham and I may have to piece some of this, and I do have, like I said, some more of this left because I had a layer cake. And if I need to piece a back, then I have some squares and actually some half square triangle squares that I did. But that's going to be it. What do you guys think? All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And um, let me know if you're going to sew along with me on the next couple quilts because they're easy peasy quilts. Free patterns. You probably already have something in your stash. And we'll sew together. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.